Paxman steps inside Newton, puts it on her boot, bends it across her body and finds Heath. Off and running, kicks towards centre half forward, going back with courage with Shelley Scott. Here's the dangerous Newman at the back. She's got some overlap run, gives it off. Opportunity here for the Dees. Shot for goal from McAvoy. No, in fact, it's Emerson. And Emerson kicks the opening goal of the game. Thank goodness, she's looking to be one of the most dangerous small forwards in the competition. Kicked one goal seven last season, had so many opportunities, just didn't finish the work. On this occasion, it's across the face, it's still alive. Zanka did well to keep it alive, bounces off Cunningham, pops a handball, Paxman snaps and goals! Well, it was excellent awareness and a quick give from Zanka, which really opened up Paxman, and a snap across the body with a great finish. Another goal on the board for the Dees. In comes Scott, she can fumble it forward, off the ground goes too good, and now it's finally in Dogs territory. Birch is stripped and dumped by Berry. That's a big play from the Dogs. That tackle had some intent from Dee Berry. And that's going to be 50 against Sinead Goldrick, who doesn't know the rule. She didn't know she was supposed to give the ball back, so she just dropped it, the Irish woman. Yeah, look, it's disappointing there. We just see the replay, drops the footy. She goes to give it to the umpire. Yeah, yeah, and that's really unfortunate. Mick Stinier, yes, he'll be disappointed, but at the same time, that's a learning curve for the Irish woman, and, um, yeah, it won't be done again. Berry gets the goal. Here's Hoare again. Kemp, she's got a couple to beat. She pops a handball out. Lamb just busts through. Tries to run the gauntlet. Can't do so, and she's gone. Off the ground goes McCarthy once and twice, right into the sternum of Meg Downey. Free kick found the umpire from the centre of the ground. Bulldogs fans not happy with it. Perhaps a trip through the tangle of legs. It's abs. Now, it's really evident that you're not allowing the dogs any time and space. Was that a real, I guess, defensive push for you guys tonight? Yeah, definitely. A big part of their game um, is chaos. They really like to put a lot of pressure on the footy, so... Yeah. Sheriff Sockets it through for a wonderful goal. Thanks, Kate. We appreciate your time. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much. The speed of Casey Sheriff Abs, one of the quickest in this lineup, and it was telling there. Yeah, our conversation cut short there with Kate Hoare, but there was good reason why. Casey Sheriff, a quick soccer off the ground, and an excellent celebration there, I might add. Just over a minute remaining to three quarter time. Colvin gets some distance on the kick, bounces it inside 50. Tap over the top was so clever from Scott. Can Gay gather and finish? Newman lurking. Umpires picked out another free kick, and it's going to Melbourne once again. Matty Gay from 25 out directly in front finishes superbly. Chance here for Gogus. Will it be the required distance for the two good mark? It won't, but she can regather, snap, and give the Bulldogs some long awaited joy. At days to the equation. And they've really stabilised things back there. Something to build off. Here's Heron. Steps through a tackle. Pumps out a handball, 15 seconds left. With an injury late too here. Hunt goes inside 50. Lampard, McCarthy, right to the line, too good. Turns, can she find a target? Five seconds left, over the back. Bouncing football right to the line. Goldrick can take it through. I'm not sure if she knows she's allowed to. Impressive performance from Melbourne. They retain the ha Hampson-Hardeman Cup. And they go two and zip with a vital win over their oldest rival.